Hi everyone, Alex here. Today I'm going to show you how to create a cylindrical decontamination tank in Revit. This is going to be part one where we're going to study our cut sheet. It's going to be a Highland Tanks decontamination tank. We're going to start creating our extrusion and family types. And I remind you that if you just want to download the family, you can scan the QR code that you see on the screen and it will take you right there so you can download it. Let's get to it. Now think about it, it makes sense. If you like this kind of content, you can subscribe to the channel. If you click that bell, you get notifications and then you don't miss any of our new videos. And if you're serious about your professional training, go ahead and visit us at bimitup.com and there you can contact me directly for some professional training. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is take a look at our cut sheet. So we're gonna do this cylindrical tank, it's a decontamination tank. And let's plan our family a little bit. So we have the main tank here, it has a certain length and a certain diameter. And then we'll have a little offset here. And then here we have a manhole. We have another manhole here for this uh, valve box. And then we have a control panel somewhere else, which is not gonna be part of our family creation. And then here we have the, our dimensions. We're only gonna do the 1,000 gallon tank, this 2,500, the 5,000, and the 10,000. So let's go ahead and take this to my other screen and let's start the family creation. So we come here to family, new family. So let's go down to mechanical equipment and let's open. And then what we wanna do is we want our cylinder to be placed in the, the axis of the cylinder. We want it to be on a horizontal position, right? So let's go ahead and, so let's go ahead and go to the front view. And then here is where we wanna create our profile, which is gonna be a circle, right? So we come here to extrusion and then our, our profile is gonna be a circle. We want to center it here. Actually, you can center it wherever you want. For example, let's say I had started it here and then you just need to make sure to make the center mark visible so you can align to your reference plane and lock it and then to the horizontal reference plane and lock it, right? Now we definitely want to dimension our circle and right now it's eight inches we want to associate a parameter to this distance right and so we're going to come here to create a new parameter it's going to be a family parameter we're going to name it you guessed it diameter it's going to be a type parameter let's just group it under plumbing so we can find things easily and let's click ok and then we can come here to parameters and we're going to create a few types here so let's create the first one, right? New type, and let's call it 1000 gallon version A, or let's call it slim. And then we have another one that is wide, okay? So that the slim one is gonna have a diameter of four feet, and then it's gonna have a length of 10 feet and nine inches. And that's gonna be the extrusion end, okay? But instead of doing that, let's keep an extrusion of let's say whatever, five feet, right? Instead of 10, nine, just to have something. And then once we click okay, and we go to our reference level, we can see that here's where our extrusion started and it ended here at five feet, right? But then what we can do is this plane already has a name, it is center, front, back. Uh, but this one we can rename, this is actually now a uh, back, right? Because center, front, back would be a plane that passes like through the middle. This is actually back, so we can rename a reference plane and we can call it back, right? And now we can create similar. And we can place it like around here, right? Just random. And then we can create a dimension from here to here. And then we create a new parameter and that parameter is gonna be length. It's gonna be grouped under plumbing as well, so we can find it really easy. And then to that length parameter, we're gonna assign a value of 10, nine. And that would be the length for this particular type, four for diameter and 10, nine for length. The only thing that's missing here is that we have to attach this face to our front plane. And actually let's give it a name. Let's call it front, right? So this would be the front, 
and now we do AL and then we align to this plane this face and then we lock it so that when we change this parameter the cylinder will shrink or stretch with it so that looks pretty good so far let's uh, add so this would be the 10 gallon slim let me just place a space between a thousand and a gallon and let's make this capital and now let's create another one and let's call it a thousand gallon wide and then the wide version will have 5.4 for diameter and 6.0 for length so if we click OK we see how this changes now let's add another one and this one will be the 2500 gallon and there's only one of those so I don't have to put slim or wide and I know that that's gonna have 5.4 it's the same diameter as the previous one but the length is 15 feet and by default what you'll end up here in the model is whatever type you had selected last so in this case it was the 2500 but if I go back to the thousand here's a thousand okay and now let's create the two 5,000 gallon so this is 5,000 gallon and this is a slim version and the slim version has a diameter of 6 feet and it has a length of 23 feet and 10 inches so that's that one then another one here is also going to be 5,000 gallon and this one's the wide version and the wide version has 8 feet for diameter and it has 13.4 for length now we're going to jump to the 10,000 so 10,000 gallon and this is going to be the slim version and the slim version has 8 feet just uh, like the previous one but now the length is 26.8 and it makes sense because it's twice the capacity so 26 eight this is very long and now we have a shorter one a little bit wider and that's going to be also 10,000 gallon the wide version and the diameter for this one's going to be 10 feet and the length of this one is 17 feet there we go 